Okay, so about 1040 um, today, we got a call in from Ridley's on the east side of town at 300 Southeast Wyoming Boulevard that a male subject had just put a gun in some kids' faces and that the male subject then got into a passenger vehicle and had left westbound on 2nd Street. We had an officer um, in the area. They actually said it was a gray vehicle. An officer was actually was pretty close to the area, was able to locate the vehicle. Um, the, the driver of the vehicle, the, the person, the male subject, actually a passenger in the vehicle. The, uh, the, male, the, the, the female driver went to Hobby Lobby to pull over for officers when they tried to make a traffic stop. At that time, the male subject jumped out of the car and took off running. Um, there was a foot pursuit. Uh, the guy actually made it to a storage area, a storage unit in the area. There was a subject unloading stuff into a storage unit. The male subject jumped in a van, stole the van from there. Um, and officers again were in the area, pursued the vehicle down here in the North Casper area. The subject, the male subject, around um, Roosevelt School, uh, exited the van. A short foot pursuit started. There was a canine officer who got involved with the foot pursuit. The subject ran to the, uh, the North Street, the center North Center Street uh, loaf and jug. Um, was given commands by the canine officer. Did not um, adhere to the commands. The dog was deployed and apprehended the person. At which time, the male subject did give up and was taken into custody. That's say about age range of subject. Um, I don't know that right now. We'll give you more details um, when I get more of that. Why did he do it? Do you know? No. Right now, I don't know as far as um, it's still this is something that we wanted to get out right away to you guys and, and to let you know what's going on. We'll be giving more formal uh, press release later on on more information as we have in interviews happen. Does Can we just go over this again? He started at the Ridley? Started at Ridley's. Um, Went to Hobby Lobby. Yep. And at some point came to the north side of Casper. Yep. So at, after he got out, he bailed, bailed out of the car at Hobby Lobby when they, they tried to do a traffic stop on the vehicle. Um, he then ran to a storage air unit area, and that, I think it's Hilltop Storage. There was a subject there putting stuff in a storage shed, jumped into the vehicle because the keys were in the vehicle, into a van, and then left that area. Officers pursued the vehicle to where he went down here to North Casper. Do you know which storage place it was? I believe it was Hilltop Storage. So, oh, is that the one? Um, should be right there the by the post office? Well, no, it should be the one right there um, in Hobby Lobby's parking lot. There's Hilltop Storage right there. I talked to some witnesses and they said that they were told that he tried to maybe steal the Coca-Cola truck or he jumped in the Coca-Cola truck. There as far as at that time, that's when the officers were on pursuit. I don't know for sure about it. I don't know on that. I haven't got that part of the story. They, they just told me that they caught him here um, and he wouldn't um, adhere to the officer's command, so the dog was deployed. Um, was the weapon recovered? Um, there was a weapon, and I'm not for sure whether that, that, that actual weapon that they, uh, that witnesses said he pointed at him has been recovered or not for sure right now. Uh, do you have his name? Um, we will be releasing it later. Right now we don't have it. Well, I, we do have it, but we'll be releasing it here when we do the formal press release. Uh, were any shots fired? No shots fired. Um, and the suspect has very minor bite. Um, injuries from the dog. No officers were hurt. No vehicles were wrecked during the, any of the pursuits, um, both uh, civilians or um, officers. What kind of charges could he be facing? Um, as far as this, there's, a, there's multiple charges that he could be facing, and it'll all be up to the district attorney's office of what actual charges will be, would he be, be facing. Initial, would he be in initials today? I mean, even with no. No. No, he probably won't, he won't be in initials till Monday. Um, it'd be really hard to get it there. They have to be there by 2 o'clock, and it's already 11.40. Does uh, the woman who was the driver, does she face any charges? Um, that's all part of the investigation right now, so I, I really don't have information on that or not.